Students returning from spring break no longer have to wear masks in the classroom. This is the first time since 2020 mask wearing is no longer required and mandatory in the classroom. Instead, the school has now shifted to strongly recommending that students wear masks. Students also were given two COVID tests to take following their return from spring break. That is a method that they also used during winter break last semester, you may recall that. The move came after Governor Gavin Newsom announced back on March 12th that districts could decide whether or not to make masks optional. So joining us now to talk more about how the first day of school went is a nurse at the San Diego Unified School District, Susan Barndoller. Hi, Susan, good to see you, thanks for joining us. Hi, you're welcome, nice to see you too. Let's talk about how the first day of school went with no mask requirements in school and also are there requirements if a student say needs to see you there in the health office? Yes, so everything went really well. Um, we had a lot of students and staff still opting to continue to wear masks both indoors and out. We are continuing to have masks mandatory in the health office in the go-home tent area and where we have um, COVID testing and everybody was very compliant. If they weren't wearing a mask, they put it on for those areas. So all around the district, we heard good news. Any concerns with these students not wearing masks? No, there was no, there were no issues with compliance in our mandatory areas. Everybody was compliant and yeah. They seem to be over half of the people were already wearing masks. I was going to anyway. ask you what you think the percentage was of people deciding to wear masks versus those deciding not to. It's really hard to guess, but they said that a lot of people were continuing to wear masks. Do you a as a healthcare staff, a Yeah. Do you as a healthcare professional have any concerns that students aren't wearing masks? Um, well, we do a lot of other mitigation strategies to continue to make sure that our schools are safe. We're keeping our indoor air quality really good, and we're making sure that people with symptoms stay home and they don't return unless they have a test. We're continuing our weekly testing. So I feel like for most individuals, if it's an individual choice and if they want to wear a mask to help increase their safety, they can do so and that's what'll keep them safe. Can you talk a little bit about how the um, district decided to make mask wearing optional? So I think when it came down from the state, when they said that the, each county, when their risk level became low, they were able to really look at their individual district and decide whether or not they wanted to change to masks highly encouraged. We waited until we were in that low risk zone. And then we looked at um, how long it would take us to stay in that zone, to feel safe, to know that we were solidly in the low. And then how long it would take our schools and our staff to prepare and to prepare our students for the change. Um, because we knew that there were going to be some students who really wanted to keep their mask on and some who really did not. So we kept saying if the trends showed the way they did, that the day after spring break would be a good time. And it turned out that it was. Are you getting the sense that everybody there at school is respecting a person's decision to either wear or not wear a mask? You know, sometimes kids can, they can be a little mean if somebody maybe is doing something or not doing something. We, we had a lot of good guidance um, from the County Office of Education, from the CDC and from the CDPH around that subject and put a lot of information out for our um, school leaders. And they really did a good job of educating their staff and their students around just being tolerant of everybody's um, needs for masks and, and where everybody was coming from. Some people were really personally affected by COVID and other people weren't. So I think so far it's, we've gotten nothing yeah. but good reports. So today. far so good. Do you think there might be an occasion where either the masks will have to be back mandatory again, or might there be a certain occasion, I don't know, maybe a special play or a special event where they might be required? So for our events, we're following the County Department of Public Health guidelines for mega events or smaller events. And right now, um, masks are still highly encouraged. Um, if those county guidelines were to change, we would change with it. And we're watching our risk factors, both in the county, kind of what our risk level is now, and, and what's happening in our schools. So we follow really closely our case rates in all of our schools and around the district. So if for some reason we were to start to get into a moderate range or heaven forbid, go to high, we would pivot. We've been pivoting for two years and we'd pivot again. Okay, well, it's great to see you. Susan Barndoller with the San Diego Unified School District. Great to see you, thanks for your time. Thank you.